Sapper main battle tank is a significant upgrade over the M60A3. This upgrade was created in Israel in order to extend the service life of the aging M60 series tanks while also making them more capable. Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future and let's begin. The Sabra was created as a further evolution of the Magetch 7C with a better ballistic profile for the applique armor and incorporating IMI's MG253 120mm gun. This upgrade package was not intended for Israel but was initially offered to Turkey as an option for its massive M60 park. It was later offered and displayed on the general military market. The Turkish government was intrigued and chose the Sabra MK2 for its upgrade program which was meant to be a stopgap measure until its domestic tank, the Altay, became operational. The Israeli military industry's Slavin heavy weapons plant in Ramat Hasharon created the Sabra. The contract, worth an estimated $688 million, was signed on March 29, 2002. In 2005, the first Sabra MK2 was delivered for testing. In May 2006, it passed all qualifications. As a result, between 2007 and April 2009, the Turkish Army's 2nd Main Maintenance Center Command upgraded 170 M60s using upgrade kits supplied by IMI and in collaboration with its engineers. Therefore, these 170 vehicles were from the Turkish mark of M60, not Israeli. Although the chassis is the same as the old and trusted M60, the turret is completely new, and the engine has been upgraded in keeping with the IDF's tradition of improving their US-supplied M48 and M60. To compensate for the increased weight, the heavier turret required wheel train modifications. The turret's general layout remains unchanged, with a crew of four, the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Apart from the drive, all three took place in a spacious turret with the same equipment and cupolas as the base model. The Sabra was initially tried with the Erdan turret, but the Mark II went with a more classic M85 cupola that allowed peripheral vision and allowed the commander to fire its Cal 50 HMG from a protected position, as well as a small hatch with a rear opening above. The gunner's hatch is fairly large and rear opening. On Mark I, the hybrid turret and gun control system include hydraulic elevation and electric traverse drive, whereas the Sabre II had all-electric gun control. The computerized fire control system from LOP Industries Limited and Elbit Systems ensures firing management. The FCS also allowed for active control of the turret dynamics. There is LOS stabilization in elevation and azimuth for the best first hit probability against mobile targets, whether stationary or on the move. The extensive IR suite provides details of operations at night, but its level for bad weather is unknown. This M36E1 main sight has a stabilized mode with the LOS slave to the gun axis, a non-stabilized mode, and a backup mode with manual operation. Both the commander and gunner have complete control of the gun operation as is standard on modern MBTs. The gunner station is equipped with a periscopic 8x magnification day sight and a 5x3 magnification IR night sight that is stabilized in two axes. It is also provided by the iSafe ND YAG laser rangefinder, which operates between 200 and 9,995 meters with a 5 meter accuracy but can depend on altitude, hot temperatures, etc. ANVVS2 periscopes are used by drivers. The central one is swappable for an infrared device. The Sabra is powered by a 900 horsepower Continental AVDS 1795A turbocharged diesel engine. The chassis has been optimized, as have the shock absorbers or torsion bars for improved cross-country mobility at 0.97 kg per centimeter squared ground pressure. The MK2 does, in fact, have a Turkish-built MT881 KA501 engine with a rank color 304S transmission. The vehicle's upgraded running gear, including six double-wheel trains and trailing arm suspension, torsion bar springs, and piston dampers with three on each side, allowed for a comfortable drive at 48 kph and was completed by single-pin steel tracks with rubber pads. The Mark I engine produces 16.5 HP per T and has a top speed of 32 km per hour in 9.6 seconds. On flat ground, the range is 450 km. The Sabra can handle a 60% gradient, 30% side slopes, 2.60 meter trenches, and 0.91 meter obstacle in Ford without 1.4 meters and up to 2.4 meters after preparation. 
Tactical transport is only possible with a heavy lift of the C-5 category, which Turkey lacks. The turret is outfitted with a short 120mm MG-253 smoothbore gun developed by IMI for the Merkava MK-3. It has a fume extractor and a thermal sleeve. Reducing barrel distortion prevents wear and increases the likelihood of a first-round hit. Stowage included fewer rounds than a regular Maggot 7, but 42 rounds of ammunition were stored, some ready in turret bins, other inside floor compartments. This gun has significantly more range and armor-piercing capability than the standard M60T, and it is fully compatible with NATO standard 120mm smoothbore ammunition. The armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot, HE, squash, flare, and exercise round are all included. A standard 7.62mm KMG or a 5.56mm LMG flanks the gun on either side. Soltem Limited supplied the turret with a 60mm mortar system installed in two 4 tube banks on either side. Armor protection is also improved over the 7C, making it suitable for a 120mm armed MBT. On the Sabra MK2, the hull and turrets are outfitted with modular passive armor protection blocks, which have been upgraded to explosive reactive armor. ERA blocks are installed on a glasses plate and the turret flanks. To deal with RPGs, the sides are protected by rigid composite blocks at the front and rubber panels at the back. The Sabra has a collective NBC suite with interior lining and overpressure for the crew's protection, as well as an automatic fire and explosion suppression system in the turret, ammo, and engine compartments. The MK-1 was essentially an upgraded Magich 7C with a new 120mm gun developed by IMI, improved applique armor, and Elbit Systems' night fire control system. The Magich's running gear would also be upgraded to improve cross-country mobility. Magich 7C's hybrid electric and hydraulic turret traverse system is replaced with an all-electric system. It was shown to the Turkish authorities, which prompted changes. Unlike the MK-1, which had a low-profile commander's cupola, the MK-2 had a larger M60 Patton M19 cupola back, as well as its original M85 12.7mm machine gun, and on the regular M60T in Turkish service. This model also includes a commander's independent thermal viewer. The MK-2 is powered by a brand new MTU Friedrichshafen engine. MTU Turk AS produced it under license in Turkey. It is coupled with a rank transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. The turret front and sides, gun top, and glasses front are all clad in explosive reactive armor bricks. The second main maintenance center upgraded itself with Israeli assistance. Except for the armor package, all of the systems were manufactured in Turkey under license through technology transfer. The Sabra fuel capacity has been significantly increased to 500 liters of diesel fuel. The Sabra MK3 was tested in Israel and offered to Turkey and other customers, but no one was interested. It is adopting the armor scheme, main gun, and RWR IR warning system, as well as the tracks for its domestic Merkava MK4 main battle tank. That's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.